And when the Lord called me to this job, I wasn't sure how it would be or what would be so different about it, um, other than it would be small and I knew we could pray. But I could tell you from the first staff meeting that I attended at Upper Columbia Conference, when I walked in and they were singing praise and worship songs and I just melted into tears. I thought, here's what's gonna be different. Hello, my name is Angela Fleck, and I am a teaching principal here at Ponderay Valley Adventist School. I am blessed to have the assistance this year of Mrs. Raynow and her beautiful daughters, Jennifer and Jessica. We have 11 students ranging from first grade up until eighth grade. I know when I took on this job here five years ago, I came from a traditional public school where I might have 30 students in a one hour class period. And I thought, how is it even possible to teach eight grades? Well, anything is possible with Christ. My name is Gina Raynow, and I am an assistant teacher here at Ponderay Valley Adventist School. This year, our goal with the students has been to see Christ in them and have them see Christ in each other. Our whole purpose this school year is also to get them involved in the community so the community knows who they are and what they are here on earth for. So we have been going door to door, kind of like coal porting, but with the purpose is to make bread, to get to know our neighbors, to get a glow track in their hands. That's all you do. You can do your other one. I'm Jennifer Reno, and this is my first year working at the school. It has been great to see how the Lord is leading in the lives of each of these students. And this year we've been working on a project to be able to get them out in the community. And so the outreach of going door to door to the community with the neighbors, the children get to realize that the people even next to their school, that they can talk to them, that they can feel like they have a, an influence in their area. And I live right across the field. I'm right next door. When we, you know, when we're asking for help for these students, it's not just to give them, a, a, you know, some high achieving um, private school education. It's it's really meeting them where they're at, introducing them to Jesus, helping them gain a deeper relationship with Jesus. It's just amazing what goes on throughout the school year and how each child grows into the character of Christ. I know what a blessing it has been to me to be a part of this school over the last few years. And I've seen what a blessing it's been to those individuals who volunteer here. And I just wanna say thank you. Our school could not exist without the generous donations and precious volunteers that we have here every day and all throughout the year. So I just wanna say that if the Lord lays it upon your heart this year to sponsor a student or to volunteer here at the school or to participate in some other way, just give us a call or talk to your local pastor. Love the Lord your God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. With all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love thy neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as thyself. Love thy neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as thyself. Love your neighbor as yourself. With these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. <laughs>